Oh, that wind is howling. It really is. Um, so, this is Ward. Ward is an interesting dude. Uh, oh, Ward you. has um, lived so many different lives and done so many different things. I just found out Ward is a dancer, was a dancer, was a hairstylist, um, won nationals in ice figure skating. Figure skating, right. Um, and now you're a painter. I am. And also you're half Yaki, mm -hmm. which is a Mexican tribe. Right. Fantastic. Although we have a reservation in the U.S. in Guadalupe in Arizona. Oh, I didn't know that. And, yeah. Okay, well, so um, what we're interested in is um, how you went from sticks and bricks to this lifestyle. Um, so kind of give us your origin and then chart your path for us, if you would, on how you ended up being so weird. Well, you know, the, the, it's funny <laughs> because uh, we were talking just prior to this uh, off camera and I mentioned that my parents were full-time RVers. I never really put two and two together, but I guess uh, I come by it pretty honestly mm -hmm. because I remember when my father he worked for the city and he retired and they got an RV and he's, he was the guy that was always tearing out his house and putting bay windows into things and knocking out rooms and I thought, oh, well, you know, he's going to get an RV <laughs> In about six months he's going to be like oh i have to have a house again but they never looked back mm -hmm. i mean just year after year as i grew older i watched my parents just they're all over the country now the time of their lives they're you know I'm, I'm in oregon where it rains constantly and they would just do this cruel thing where they would send like pictures of them in the hot tub with <laughs> santa claus hats on at christmas time and you're going, in the rain yeah it sucks to be you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, uh, you know, I, uh, another part, another one of my, uh, um, incarnations, I made Native American flutes. Ah. I carved them by hand and I traveled around to all the powwows and, and, uh, all the like harvest festivals. I did this whole circuit. Um, and so I carved flutes and, and I would uh, teach people how to play them and played music. And, uh, I f had like what I called the eternal summer for about seven years once. Mm -hmm. Cause I would be up in Oregon and Washington in the summer and then I do Arizona and California and all that in the winter time and travel around selling my flutes and, mm. and doing the powwow trail so I got a pretty good taste of this when I was younger mm -hmm. um, and, and funny thing too here's another thing I didn't tell you I had a blues band for years we were um, band of the year 2005 nominees for a muddy war oh and gosh. album of the year so what if you if you go on itunes i've got like nine recordings and it's everything from japanese zen buddhist flute music world beat even have a theremin album and i've got this beautiful blues album with native flutes and didgeridoos all mixed You've done into everything it. So that's crazy i've done everything yeah that's pretty fun so what next are you gonna be like a pilot so honestly, I believe that um, the dancing, the skating, the music, everything that I've ever done really has been preparing me to be an artist because mm. when I paint, everything goes into that because mm. we are um, a sum of all of our experiences. Totally. And, you know, uh, the, the curve of a hip, it's the same thing as, you know, as the arc of a, a, a figure when you're skating. It's, mm. it's you know, it's how to punch when you're boxing. It's all the same. It, it, it yeah. all comes from the same place. It just manifests differently. But painting is, like, amazing. That's awesome. It is pretty awesome. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> so how long have you had this rig? So uh, uh, about a year and a half ago, I decided that, um, well, part of it was in Oregon, we had seven months two years ago without two consecutive days of sunshine. I mean, it rained and rained and rained. There's no way to live. But I, you know, I'm also aging and I thought, you know, I had this salon, I owned a business, I gave up all my roads and the flutes and all that. I settled down, I bought a salon, I ran a successful business in Portland for, I don't know, 15 years or something. Uh, wonderful place. It's still there. One of the the young people that worked for me for years bought it from me, and now oh, it's her salon. Cool. Yeah, it's a super cool place. Um, but I had a nice, a very comfortable life in the affluent part of town, northwest Portland. Mm -hmm. I had a beautiful townhouse on Petty Grove, uh, and my salon's on 21st. So I really had this cushy life, mm -hmm. but I really ached to be back out on the road mm -hmm. and to see things, and painting was evolving. Mm -hmm. um, so I sold my business and I sold everything I owned out of the townhouse. I scraped the money together to buy this because I didn't want to have payments. Mm -hmm. And uh, I went out on the road. But the other part of this is too, I'm teaching at a national level. Well, actually international because I went to Australia and New Zealand this to last teach year painting. to teach painting, teach watercolor. Cool. So I decided instead of flying to Boone, North Carolina, where Cheap Joe's is, uh, I'm an ambassador for them and they're like the third largest online art distributor in the world Whoa. Now. So I teach big workshop for them, and I thought instead of flying in there, 
I'd get my RV and go cross country and meet all the communities along the way. Uh -huh. So that's exactly what I did. I, I stopped, I did demos at watercolor societies, I did little presentations wow. for art groups. I contacted a group everywhere I went. There's always painters to meet. Yeah. And I ended up going all the way to, to Boone, North Carolina. It was awesome. That's awesome. It was really a great trip. So yeah, I pretty much sold everything I owned. I bought this little Winnebago and moved into it. And oh my God, I am having the most incredible <laughs> life experiences. I mean, uh, yeah, like just can bring you to tears some of the beautiful things that I've seen oh, and I'm just man. free to pull over I can sit there and paint. Yeah, uh, and in this country It's, ma it's, it's extraordinary. amazing. Yeah. yeah, like Moab we talked about Moab yeah. seeing that for the first time uh, The Grand Staircase Escalante. That's where I work, right? That's my office. It's um, the Grand Staircase Unbelievable like yes, you know just and uh, it's magic in the middle of this journey. My father passed away and so I had to go from um, Washington, D.C. basically when I found out I drove nonstop back to Oregon. Mm. It was four days. Uh, I was, I barreled across country. Um, so, yeah, getting back out and seeing everything and, and trying to recapture the, the dream, important. Mm. I mean, it's healing because out in, out in Moab, uh, uh, Moab out, out in the desert, like I just felt like I could cry and really grieve, mm. you know? Mm, Let it all. Yes. Like, it's big enough to take it all in. It so, is. Yeah, it's the been, wilderness is good medicine. It's been healing. It's been yeah. transformative. To the desert has so much to teach. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. desert has much to teach. Yeah. Yep. And so, I look, like the silhouette right here, I mean, look at that beautiful mountain line out there. Oh, you've got a great view out your window. Extraordinary. And every morning it's different. And, you know, I, I, I'm very active on social media. I have a huge following on Facebook and Instagram. And, and mm -hmm. that's how I don't even mark on my paintings and galleries. I sell everything online. Share, with, uh, share with Jamie's viewers um, who want to follow you. How can they follow you? Oh, well, my website is Art of Ward. A R T O F W A R D Art of Ward dot com. Cool. Uh, and I'm on Instagram as Art of Ward uh, underscore in between. And of course, you can find me on Facebook. And okay. If you go on YouTube, I have a host of YouTubes from videos on how to play Native American flute. There's um. What's your Cheap, YouTube channel? Cheap Joe's did. Uh, I think it's just under my name. Okay. Cheap Joe's did a series of, well, I hired a company, like an actual media company when I was there teaching, and we did a whole series of videos. Um, so I use this, it's just really fun, I use this paint called Brusho, it's crystal powdered watercolor. It's been in Europe for about 40 years, but it's new to the U.S. market, and huh. I was the first American to really use it for, like, fine art. Huh. And so, um, there's a whole series of videos, uh, if you go to YouTube and type in my name, and Cheap Joe's, or Ward and Artist, you'll find my, my painting videos. Cool. So, yeah, uh, ever... people are following me, I, I do this fun thing every Sunday, I just started because I was posting so much, I get, I'm going to wear people out. So I started posting just on Sundays. So now I, I call mm. it my Sunday morning post. There you go. Oh, and okay. people actually like really look forward to this yeah. every single week. So I, and I really try to, to say something really good for Sundays. Aww. And it's always very upbeat. And even with losing my father, I tried to still, you know, oh, yeah. have share even it, my so feelings and right yeah so my post this morning was from uh, the campfire because mm. we did drive-in movie night and so oh, I said, you went and watched the movie last night yeah i put it on oh y'all watched into the wild right we watched into the I wild on the side on the side of a big step van we projected <laughs> this was movie i know uh, it was uh virgil's okay so we, we you shine this movie up on there had a sound system Eugene sound system so it's barely so we had drive-in movie night out here in the desert that is so cool it's amazing I better get the invite next time I hope so I think <laughs> we're gonna do uh, either Willy Wonka or Goonies next oh my gosh wouldn't that be fun <laughs> yeah. nostalgia either way so I did a post about that and uh, Eugene and I were playing I was playing the hand pan yeah you know, I the, missed the it the yeah. hand drum and yeah uh, I'll play some for you if you want That'd be cool. You want to hear yeah. some hang drum? Yeah. First, let me um, ask you a couple more questions. So, sure. what, uh, what, if anything, do you miss about living in uh, an apartment or a home or a house? I should say. Well, I mean, obviously, my circle of friends. Sure. Uh, the the young people that worked with me at the salon are like my family. Mm. Um, they're just stellar people. Uh, you know, I did the opera director's hair mm. for 15 years, so I saw every opera that came to town. 
Mm. When you're a hairdresser, I mean, especially after 40 years. You connect with people, yeah. I watch them grow up, get married. Did kids grow up and get married? And now they're starting to have That's kids. I mean, I lost. <laughs> it was a lot, a loss actually at once. Because I walked away from that salon. I, I lost 400 of my best friends all at mm -hmm. once. Plus my house. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everything I owned, mm -hmm. I gave away or gave up or passed on or something or sold to, to finance this. So uh, it was more than a leap of faith it was like <laughs> it was like cannonball shot out of a cannonball of mm, faith <laughs> yeah a big old leap right so what's your favorite part though of of the transition favorite part of the transition of like, being out here yeah on the this road? life versus that life what's the best part uh i i just it my world is so much bigger mm, it really yeah. is you know and i've Your traveled a good part huge. of the whole world yeah but this is bigger than that because you can get on a plane and go somewhere and see a few touristy things or whatever but really seeing your country yeah at a cellular level oh yeah is really huge you miss so Meeting much in between people you know, yeah. I'm making friends everywhere i go mm -hmm. uh just man i'd love to I do a thing in my Sunday morning post where I say, and the view from the Paymobile changes again. And I take the same shot out this window, mm. but it's so different. I mean, it might be an ocean, Fantastic. it might be some mountains, yeah. it's the desert, it could be a Walmart parking lot, yeah. but it's always, it's always different. Sure. And, and I want to, I want to paint all of it. And you know, this opportunity, there are a lot of painters in the world, a lot of painters. Yeah. So to get the chance to teach at the national level, like I have, um, that's pretty extraordinary. I didn't, mm. I didn't want to wait for this opportunity to manifest. I was going to go out and get it. Yeah. So I'm not going to wait for success. I'm going to go out and find those communities and talk to those people, get them to come to my workshops and see my artwork and meet them one at a time, like a politician. Mm. I will shake everyone's hand in my district mm -hmm. to get elected. It's important. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Um, well, thanks for chatting with us. You're do you want to show us your hand drum? Yeah, you want to hear some music? Yes, I'd love All to. Right, do that here. Here's a I'll show you one of my real paintings too, so you can see what I'm talking about with the brush show. Um, oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. So Gorgeous. you see these speckles of paint right here? Yeah. This is brush That's a crystal powdered watercolor. But I also use regular tube paints, uh -huh. like in here. And this is more regular do you ever, tube paint in the eyes. Do you ever process natural pigments to paint with? Uh, I haven't, but it'd be fun to do, like make it's your own so yellow cool. ochre and all yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm pretty spoiled. I'm sponsored by this amazing art company, and you mm. have people like Daniel Smith out of the Northwest that make paints that have real pigments in them. Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, I let them do what they do. I just want to <sighs> create. That's gorgeous. Thank you. Yay. Let me go um, I'll grab my pan. Okay. Oh, I got some of that free soap that they were handing out. I haven't grabbed any yet. No, I hope there's still some more. I think it was gone because I told them uh, about it and they ran up there to get some and they said, no, it's gone already. So I got I know, some. My that's friend Cammy got like four. Peppermint. One oh. of them smelled so good. Right? That's why I just had the shower so my bathroom smells. Oh, I wanted Pepperminty some fresh. And also, there was someone giving away pomegranate. I grabbed a couple yesterday and left them there. I didn't even take them. Okay, with me. so what's your pomegranate method? Oh, the. Whack it on the back is the best way to go. Oh, is that uh, what yeah, you crack it. So kind of score the skin and then crack it in half and then whack it. Also, if you put it in the water, you know, you get the that's pith what, that floats to the top. That's what my know? friend Debbie does. She she yeah. puts it in. Um, There's a science. She puts it under water. Mm -hmm. So this is a hand pan. Uh, it started out as a steel drum in uh, the Caribbean, and a Swedish couple back in the 80s started making these. Um, oh. They were making steel drums, and one day they turned one upside down, and this thing kind of evolved. And now uh, they used to be impossible to get, but there are more makers now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
That's yeah, amazing. So cool. Right? Yeah. That's Life. amazing. Life is amazing. So many tones in that thing. I know. It's a piece of metal. Yeah, that's brilliant. Think of all the cars out there could be made into hand pans. <laughs> all that metal, all that possibility. That is so cool. Yay. Maybe you'll become a, maybe you'll start working metal and make hand pans. Maybe that's your Painting next. is... You're on it. Yeah, <laughs> in my life, of all the things I've ever done, I've never said, you know, I'm a musician or I'm a hairstylist. Uh -huh. It's always been things that, you know, I knew I was transitioning, but... I had this really cathartic this is more than what moment you do, it's what you are. a couple years ago when I was painting and I, I just said to the universe, I'm an artist. Mm. This is what I am. You've arrived. Yeah, I've arrived. Yeah. Very cool. It's my true, my true heart. Awesome. Well, thanks for chatting with us. Oh, you're welcome. It was great thanks to hear your story. Talk about myself. Fascinating. Please don't think I'm bragging or anything. I'm, no. a, I'm really goofy. I, th I wish people Super would brag person. more. Uh, I well, think, you know, when people are fascinating, there's no reason to hide your life so, under a bushel. So I have a message, and, and, and it has to do with what we're talking about right now, and that is because people say all the time, you know, I've done so many things, and they'll say, like, I can't carry a tune in a bucket, or I can't draw a stick figure. Mm -hmm. Anybody can do anything mm -hmm. they want to do if they simply want to do it bad enough. Yeah. Nobody is born special. Yeah. I mean, with the exception of maybe some bots or something like that, which I don't understand. But we all have the potential to be whatever we want to be. I swear to God, I know that in my heart of hearts. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, well, how many hours is it supposed to be to master anything? Uh, you know, you know that's that 10,000 hours yeah. to master you. I'm not sure. I have, I have issues with that whole thing. Because um, I think, yeah, you just, if you want yeah. something bad enough. You invest We all have the potential. Nobody is born special. The career wouldn't let us be born without... A yes. soul for music or art or whatever it is that you want to do. Just yeah. we're afraid to fail sometimes. Especially people who tell me they can't dance. I'm like, you're a human being. Right. Of course you can. But somebody might have ridiculed them at one point. Right. Or maybe they tried and and you know, they they failed the first time. And so that is, here's my big secret. Now that I've told you my belief, my big secret is, don't be afraid to fail. Oh yeah. Because everybody falls. Everybody That's how you stumbles. Get there everybody does if you're not afraid to fail if you're not afraid to fail mm -hmm. you can do anything yeah anything yep because so you know how many times i tripped on the way up to that peak this morning yeah right that's just part of, that's how you get there you don't see that in the you know the olympics those beautiful jumps that they're doing and spins but i guarantee you those kids fell a hundred thousand times getting there that's what success yep. is made of yeah so don't be afraid to fail and if you if you think oh, i might want to paint or i might want to play music you know pick up a ukulele watch a youtube i learned to paint watching youtubes and also do it for Just, the joy rather than the accolades because right? i think people quit too soon because they're like oh no one appreciates what i'm doing it's not any good nah. just love it just do it for the love enjoy it well and that's another great point too because um we have this concept of there like i'm gonna get there someday uh -huh. there is no there uh -huh. I, I tell my students all the time when i'm teaching painting like, don't ruin the journey with the expectation. If you're yeah. sitting down for a moment and you're looking at that paper, you've got a brush in your hand or you're sketching something, if in that moment just the world slips away mm. and your, your, your stress or your concerns or whatever it is, you know, your, your worries, they all just kind of go away. If you're in that moment, no matter how many masterpieces you make, it'll never get any better than that. Mm. So just be in the moment and enjoy the journey. It's a journey. Mm -hmm. There is no there. Nobody, the greatest painters, the greatest musicians I know, and I know lots of them, never stop and go, ah, I'm there. I'm done. Yeah. This is it. I've, yeah. I've arrived. Uh -huh. It's all, it's always levels and plateaus and plateaus Absolutely. and levels. The trick is, if you can get this, the trick in life is enjoy the journey. Mm -hmm. It's such a beautiful 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 journey totally and fall well right yeah totally <laughs> thank you so much Ward. my pleasure super